So in this problem, we've been given that the modulus of z plus 2 take away 3i is equal to the modulus of z take away 10 plus i. We need to find the least value of mod z. So let's understand what that means. This is describing a perpendicular bisector. Okay, so let's draw a sketch so we can visualize what's happening here. So real axis and imaginary axis. We've got uh, minus 2 plus 3. So um, minus 2, sorry, minus 2 plus 3. So somewhere here. So minus 2 on the real axis, 3 on the imaginary axis. Okay, and we've got uh, plus 10, take away 1. So plus 10, take away 1. So something like this. OK, so we want the perpendicular bisector of those two points. So if we worked out what the midpoint was, so we've got minus 2, 3, and we've got 10 minus 1. So we've got minus 2 plus 10 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. 3 plus minus 1 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. So 4, 1. So something like that as our midpoint. OK, so 4, 1. So we've got this line. Let's go through 4, 1. OK, it's going to be perpendicular to both those points. So maybe something, something like this. OK, now once I've got my line, and I'm going to need to work out what the equation that line is, the idea then is that find the least value of mod z. Mod z is talking about the distance from the origin. OK, so what is the least value that z can be from the origin? OK, so you've got all these choices here as you run along the line. But the least one is going to be the one that makes a perpendicular there. And it's at right angles. OK, so let's work out the equation of the perpendicular bisector first. So um, we've got x plus iy plus 2 take away 3i. So we're going to have x plus 2 and then plus i lots of y take away 3 is equal to the modulus of x uh, take away 10 plus i lots of y plus 1. OK. Now, uh, find the modulus of both sides here. So we've got x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals x take away 10 squared plus y plus 1 squared. So multiplying that out, x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to x squared minus 20x plus 100 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. So the x squareds can go, the y squareds can go. Let's keep uh, get the y's onto the left left hand side. So we've got the minus 6y take away 2y, so minus 8y. Everything else onto the right hand side. So we've got the minus 20x, take away 4x, so minus 24x. OK. Uh, we've got 4 and 9, so 13. We've got 101. So 101 take away 13 uh, would get us down to 88. Let's just double check. I don't want to make a mistake at this stage. Uh, take away the 9, take away the 4. Yeah, 88. Always worth checking. Right, OK. So then we can divide through by the minus 8. So y is equal to minus 24 divided by minus 8 is 3. So 3x. Three 88 divided by minus 8 is minus 11. So 3x take away 11. So that point is minus 11. OK. So that's the equation of our perpendicular bisector. OK. Now, we want to find that distance there. OK. So that line there, 
will have a perpendicular gradient. So that's minus one third x. So that line there is actually just y equals minus a third x, right? So we want the intersection of these two lines, OK? That'll give me the point of intersection, and then I could find the distance to 0, 0. So minus 1 third x is equal to 3x take away 11. So let's multiply through by 3, make this a little bit easier for ourselves. So minus x is 9x take away 33. So uh, add x to both sides and add 33 to both sides. So x is going to be 33 tenths. OK, so this point here is 33 tenths. And the y coordinate, multiplying that through by minus a third, will be minus um, 11 over 10. So minus 11 over 10 for the y coordinate. OK? So our job now is to find the distance between um, the point that we've just found and 0, 0. So if we draw a little triangle just to kind of visualise it. OK? So this is my triangle here that I've drawn. OK? Just to make it a little bit bigger. So we know that the uh, base here is 33 tenths, 33 tenths, and that distance there is 11 tenths. So the least value of mod z is the length d, the hypotenuse. So d is going to be equal to 33 over 10 squared plus 11 over 10 squared square rooted. So 33 over 10 squared plus 11 over 10 squared. Square root that and we get 11 tenths root 10. So least value of mod z is 11 tenths root 10. OK, and so that's how we can use a bit of Cartesian knowledge in order to solve the problem.